Hey guys, so first things first, please disregard my voice because I had a coughing attack yesterday and I just, I don't know what happened. So um, I'm about to do a little chit chat about something real interesting while I do my makeup and show y'all my um, Key Essentials products. So I'm going to share with you guys the products that I use from Key Essentials and then the other stuff that I'm just using in general. So um, I already washed my face and moisturized it. Um, and I'm going to use their beauty blender as I apply my foundation. Um, and this is the Key Essentials Beauty Blender, the regular beauty blender. And they do have a flat bottom compared to the regular beauty blender. I washed both of these beauty, bl beauty blenders just now so you can see like how um, it absorbs the water. And they do have a difference like this to be honest the beauty this, i don't even know what how much this costs on the website so you all will have to just price check but this one does I, I love my beauty blender don't get me wrong like i have a whole thing of beauty blenders that i use um but this does like as far as quality feel the, the real beauty blender feels like a lot cheaper than this one um yeah it feels a lot cheaper i'm really excited to see what this does y'all but um yes yeah, so anyways y'all let me just get right into it um so last night my good man will y'all already know what i'm about to talk about my good man will literally show y'all jory i promise you this girl just i think she is truly truly my soulmate this girl she I'm trying to open the door. She's supposed to be taking her nap. So they don't have a brow. Well, I wasn't sent a brow um product. So I'm gonna just I really wish I was. Um, but we're gonna they're currently rebranding, repackaging all their stuff. Like I saw the new packaging, it is so freaking cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I know best, which is my Anastasia dip brow. But anyways, y'all, so Will Smith, if y'all don't know, um, the Oscars was yesterday. And Chris Rock was, and I didn't watch the Oscars. And I only saw, the only part of the Oscars that I saw was this moment. Why y'all never told me that Twitter is lethal? Like, I always see people talking about, like, black Twitter, undefeated, stuff like that. I do have a Twitter. I'm not active on Twitter. I probably tweeted the most, like, three times, like, if that um i don't really care too much for twitter um and i feel like i'm just so late in the game like where would i go with twitter type of thing i, I really want to be a twitter girl because i be loving like how i see like some of the influencers add like like their tweets to their you know instagram content but anyways i have been going on twitter a lot lately to look at um to look at like i type in things that go down so that I can see like the full version of it because Instagram censors so much, so much. So y'all, I was scrolling through my Instagram last night on my phone and I started my dip brow. Oh, there it goes. And I, um, so this is how this looks. And this, I've definitely used a lot of it. At this point, I need to get a little closer. Not for y'all, but for the sake of me being able to see. And I still do have my brows ombre from all those months ago and I have not had to have my brows threaded or waxed in since then like since I since it happened up oh, here's Jory um Jory yes mama what you doing girl boo boo so um I should have brought a mirror do I have one of these things got a mirror on it boo boo one of these things have to have a mirror. Uh, One of these little palettes. Girl, you supposed to be taking your nap. There you go. Uh, boo. Boo. Uh, okay. This one. Oh, this one got a good mirror. Uh, this tart one. They got a good mirror. So, anyways, y'all. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So, um, yes. Yeah, so the Oscars was yesterday, and. Chris Rock is telling jokes, being a comedian that he is, and he makes a very insensitive comment to Jada Pinkett Smith. And 
I can't remember verbatim what the comment was, but it was something on a reference of the G.I. Jane movie, which I've never seen. So the comment went over my head to begin with, because I'm like, wait, what? Like, I've never seen that movie. I don't, like, those not, aren't my type of movies. Um, but he made a comment saying like, when I think he said like, when are you gonna get back into your G.I. Jane part two or something like that. So another thing that went over my head was like, why would this offend Jada? Because I did not know that Jada suffers with alopecia and she has had to cut off all of her hair. They even said that Willow cut off all of her. That's why Willow cut off all her hair because you know, she was supporting her mom. And we as women like beauty is like, and especially someone like an icon like Jada, like she is, known for her beauty not not saying that she's known for her talent but a lot of people have like proclaimed her as one of the like one of the top beautiful women y'all know what i'm talking about so i'm pretty sure that was like or that still is like so triggering to be constantly put a put a, um like a, a put against your peers and the beauty like in the looks of beauty and then be dealing with something like your hair um because even when I went through postpartum with the girls, with Journey and Jaya, y'all know I lost, I didn't go through postpartum shedding. Now I went through postpartum depression with Jory, but I didn't go through postpartum shedding. Um, but my hair, like all my edges fell out. And although I, I did embrace it, um, because I was just so grateful, like my daughters were alive and you know, you know, I was like, it's just hair, it'll grow back. But it was, you know, I think I was just trying to put my best foot forward before someone else can let me be the butt of their jokes. Like, oh, Keisha's edge is gone. But needless to say, I definitely understand how it feels as a woman to have to like continuously worry about your looks, your appearance. And for someone to get on national television and in a, and in a room in a, with a large audience with such accredited, esteemed people and for me to even be like sitting next to my husband, like, and yeah, y'all just a Jory. But for me to even sit in front of my husband and have to have him here, uh, uh, no, my, no, 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 go, go back with daddy, go bye bye bye, girl, no, to hear such a cruel joke. And at first, Will was laughing. <clears throat> or like kiki kin but i'm pretty sure like that was kind of like how i was when i was putting my best foot forth like okay whatever you know jokes on me guys don't have no edges anymore the girls took all my hair out got all these patches like all this stuff like ha 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 type of thing so it's kind of like ha 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 and he looks over and jada is mortified and somewhere from the time of him seeing his wife be completely and utterly embarrassed and mortified um, he decides to get up out of his seat and go on stage and literally slap the F out of Chris Rock. And when I tell you my mouth, I really respect Will as an actor, as a person. I don't care about his personal choices and his marriage, open relationship, none open relationship. I don't care about none of that. That ain't my marriage. That's their choice to do that. Um, but just as a human being, like he is very well respected. As an actor, as a talent, he is very very well respected so i was just like real quick well but it put him in like i saw him as the most human not that i've ever seen him because obviously you know i i don't know him personally but publicly that was one of his, the most human reactions um that he could have ever conveyed um because he showed and I'll, 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 before i get into my next point it just showed how people try to put influencers, celebrities, and all that into like this box of you have to conduct yourself, you have to be this way, da da da. It took him out of that role and made him the most human that he possibly could be. Um, and I really, y'all looking for my um, primer. They do have primer. Joy is getting a hoop out of my makeup. Okay. Oh, there you go. I love my Tasha primer. Like, this is like, I haven't went back. I told y'all when I first got this, like, I haven't switched up my makeup in years. But, um, yeah, it, it really showed, like, his human side. Like, I'm a husband, you know, I'm a human being before all else, before this award show, before any of that. Now, I've talked to a few people, and 
immediately for everyone who says, oh, I can't believe you act like those in front of those white people. I've, got, I've gotten offended. Because when black people say stuff like that, to me, it's kind of like white people are superior, like, you know, how they have treated themselves for these centuries. Like, white people are the elite. To get in the room with them, like, they're the elite, and you should be wanting to get into the room and sit down with these people. Um, <coughs> so, for anyone to say, oh, he, he went in such a room, and these white people are already look at us in this type of way, who are these people? Like, why do we gotta conduct ourselves outside of, why do we have to conform to a certain way in front of a certain group of people? Like, who they think they are? Like, who y'all think y'all are? Like, these black queens and kings are up in this room serving like what are y'all like come on now like i so i did not like when people were saying like oh he shouldn't act like that in front of these white people like he should be himself and no matter who is in the room with him he should be will and we should be i should be keisha no matter if i'm in a room with um latino people or chinese people like whatever or asian people i know that's more politically correct asian people or whoever like no one should be saying oh when you go into the room with those you know, white people, you better act like this, and then you can, you can, and then you tell people, oh, you can act any kind of way in front of black people, because then it's, it gives everybody the reason to still continue and to perpetuate the narrative that we are the bottom of the totem pole, and that should not be what people think. Like, you should start treating and teaching people around you to go in, like, oh, black people own this business? Oh, you better go in and act like you got some sense. Like, that's true, especially for our own people. That especially for our own people, but I get it. I understand like how, you know, over the years how we've had to, <clears throat> um, be mind controlled by you know the norms of society and fitting into this. Um, um, Tori, Tori is not. She said I'm not leaving mom, but fitting into this. Let me try to hurry up because I'm not gonna sit here this whole time. Or maybe this can just be a shit chat video, and I can just chat with y'all, cause. I'm still doing my makeup and I need to take my time because we got a photo shoot. And I, um, Tori, get this back. Girl, we got a photo shoot. So, Jory, Jory, you supposed to be asleep, as a matter of fact. Now, go to your daddy. Go to your daddy. Go to daddy. Bye bye, Jory. See you. See you later. See you later. Come on, Jory. See you later. I was like, I'm also not like been on social media for as many years. I'm not saying everything that I've ever done on social media has always been my proudest moment. But I get it. Like I understood exactly what wills, you know, to be publicly humiliated and then be told because you're Will Smith, you gotta like cause I've had that happen. Like, because you're an influencer, because you have this, because you have that, you have so much to lose. You gotta you you gotta pretty much take the brunt of the jokes or you gotta take the brunt of the scrutiny, the hate, the being ostracized and stuff like that. And that's that's not cool. So let me see how I wanna conceal. Now, I do have this your So I totally, I totally got it, and you know I respect it. Like when you know, one thing I love about Jeremy is that he has always had my back, always defended me, always, always. Like that's something, no ma'am. That's something I've never had to. Um, Jory, go back with your dad. Get her. That's something I've never had to question. I'm about to lock the door. Get her. That's something that I've never. Babe, you're not doing a good job. That's something that I've never had to question. Like, you know, having somebody have your back. So I thought that it was before anything else. I just felt like, you know, I could appreciate him, you know, understand him wanting to defend his wife in that moment because that's what that was the most important person in the room. Um, and one of the most people, important people in, in his world. So, <clears throat> like, at the award show, like, imagine her, you know, crying for 365 days and, you know, however many nights about, um, you know, not, you know, like, oh my gosh, like, that was the most humiliated thing and him having to 
wonder, you know, what I could have done different. Now, this night, she's not going to, although she's going to remember the humiliation of that joke, more importantly, she's going to remember my husband came forward and stood up by my side and had my back more than anything. So even if, and he did win his um, Oscar, so congratulations to that. But more than anything, um, you know, that's that's what, that was his takeaway. Now, I did hear that they say the Oscars are thinking about taking the award away because you have to conduct yourself with conduct and, uh, or a certain code of conduct and <clears throat> stuff like that. But um, I guess they'll sort that out and we'll figure out if they actually take it away from him. I don't want them to take it away from him. And I know they also, people also saying like, oh, he would have never done that to a white guy. Um, and that's not true because then when I went to black Twitter, they <laughs> let me know that he's been on a red carpet before. And someone, I, I forgot what they did to him. They tried to do something to him. And then he smacked So I definitely don't think it's no... When it come to Will, Will Will has shown himself publicly and privately that Will is gonna be Will, um, no matter what. So I don't want to. And I, like I said, I hate people saying, "Oh, he would never do so." White person, he, like you would never do, like, or they. It would have been a different story if it was what. Like Will is highly respected, like highly, highly respected. So there weren't too many highly respected um, people on that front row, and I can't. I, I wasn't in the audience to see how many whites. We're on that front row versus blacks but will was on that front row for a reason um and that that's with or without a nomination like no, will is just oh will smith in the room for sure that's without a doubt whatever award show whatever ceremony whatever place he walks into will is highly respected so he's not just like like i said and just because of the color of someone's skin doesn't mean that you are more superior to another so I want, if anyone has a conversation about this, I want you all to take away the whole context of the complexion out of this or, you know, oh, the award ceremony would have done this. Because when you have those type of conversations out loud, that just, give, that just gives white people more reason to believe, like, see, even black people understand that you can't act this way around us. Like, we're the elite. Like, those type of conversations, when when, you, when people are publicly tweeting and writing out, they're, I'm pretty sure they're, have, they have social media advisors who are looking at the comments, seeing the reaction and responses. And the people are like, oh, why, the white people are, or they would have did this, or white people would have did this. Or, and we got to take away that normality. We got we to gotta fix that. We got to fix them believing that, oh, oh, they know to conduct themselves around us. They got to do that, you know, black people acting somewhere else. If there is a black people, you know what I'm trying to say, though, y'all. So that's my little tidbit with that. <clears throat> so next topic is, let's talk about, I know a lot of people are also asking me, or not asking, but saying in the video for the vlog that came out today, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy Jeremy's back. And you know, having that type of conversation. Um, I wouldn't say that Jeremy is like, Jeremy wanted to do that video himself. He asked me to do that video. He said, can we do a mukbang together? And then that was that we did not have any dialogue about, you know, if he was permanently going to just feel more comfortable. And it's kind of like, I don't want to push him into something um, that he's not comfortable with. Um, and I do appreciate the support from people who, you know, were being positive. I didn't really see too many comments. I've been really busy since I woke up. But I do appreciate the support. Um... Cause that's just what it is we just here to entertain and um let that be that so um i do want him to be included a little bit more not to say like even for myself it is hard to have to worry about or listen to people constantly when people were complaining like, oh we don't want to see jeremy oh this jeremy oh that jeremy this is like oh my gosh just get off the channel because this is too much back and forth about you know and not to say that i'm gonna let somebody tell me how to run my channel but it's just kind of like it's hard to do your job if you come in and your team is com constantly complaining about what you bring to the table or what what you know whatever plays you running or whatever you doing like it's always a complaint 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 eventually you're gonna just be like okay i'm throwing in the towel but Ultimately speaking, I do feel like we will make the decision. I feel like my left brow is like not doing what it's supposed to do. What is going on? Like, what the heck is going on? Um, I 
There we go. Okay, that looks a little better. But I just don't like when it's not like as even as it could be. <clears throat> and I feel like I need to buy some new brushes. I be every time I get my makeup done, I'll be trying to look at the makeup artists and see what they're using and like try to cheat and like, okay, let me go just get what they got. Cause I've surely been using the same brushes and I know for a fact some of these brushes I'm not using the right right way. As long as I, the end result look good, I'd be like, okay, whatever. But, um, yes, yeah, so me and the girls have a photo shoot um, for something. And, um, y'all, so Johnny wanted to have a little talk with me today. And I found it to be quite hysterical. This girl is, like, me and Jeremy be literally looking at her like, where did she come up with this? Her imagination is so wild like the things that she knows or I can understand and converse about is just beyond me but she's also at the point in her life where she is very or no journey is like this too they are very um vocal with what they see so we have been trying to educate them in their most child friendly way of the differences in people because i just never want my kids to be the one out there <laughs> mommy look at you know or you know just if, if it's not within their normal so um one thing we've been teaching them are the different races of people um <clears throat> like the different skin tones like even within like being black like all skin tones are beautiful like i've been showing them like like googling different like i just type in on google like different um like just different things and i'm like teaching them about it so when we're in public that's not when that's not the first time they're seeing it some seeing something different um especially since their trials for cheer um are <clears throat> are really really soon actually i think they're in the new in the next few weeks it's about to be april 1st so they're going to be on a team of kids who who come from all walks of life and i don't want my kids to be you know acting brand new <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i don't want because i wouldn't want nobody coming up to my kid pointing out mommy why you know why she got this or why she got that or why this or you know how kids can be kind of hurtful but they don't mean to be hurtful so i started noticing her like saying like certain things and i'd be like or both of them saying like certain things and i'd be like oh my gosh um let me <laughs> let's have these type of talk like like let's have some conversations about about um respectful ways to approach things or you know and jaya oh jaya specifically she's at her stage of why 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 and it's hard because the lately i've just been like because i said so don't say don't ask me no why <laughs> but now it's just like when i think about it i'm like she's just really curious about things so let's take a different approach let's just and educate her like the thing um that we can as, as long as it's not a you know something inappropriate if she's asking you know she really just wants to know why about everything and i think it's uh, innocent about her not she's not trying to be disrespectful she just really genuinely wants to know why something has to be done and then i noticed um yesterday we were explaining i was explaining something to her and um she's absorbing that information i do like this beauty blender i will say that um it blended everything this isn't the best lighting to be doing on makeup tutorial but hey i was like let me just at least try because you know let me see yeah so let me just at least try i can't wait till we move and then i can have um the full shebang with the lights to set up my off i can film up here down there everywhere um one more like i said intentional content but for now i'm gonna make some shade hey hey so this is the con concealer that i got and this is in the color honey typically in most um foundations concealers and stuff like i'm always somewhere in their line i'm honey so we're gonna see okay this seems like this is my exact color uh -huh. Okay, this is literally my exact color. So I'm going to, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna blend this out and I'm gonna talk to her and get a lighter shade, which is the Too Faced Concealer 
and this is caramel that was a good that was a good concealer though the way it just covered i mean i don't really have dark marks or like um dark circles and stuff like that so <clears throat> thank god the biggest thing that i have like problem wise on my skin i would say is texture but from where i started to where i'm at now i am content not to say it doesn't have room to improve but i am content because it used to be way worse like i just was not taught i think when i started having like acne issues because y'all know i didn't grow up like my friends used to cry in fifth grade and sixth grade about their skin and i was walking around with flawless skin they were like you just don't get it keisha because you don't have these problems I'm like why are you crying about your skin like but they had really like pimple like you know how the kid pimples look like it was like really red rashy like pimples all over their face like almost all of my best friends had that except for me so i just didn't get it until once i was on my anti um depressant medication when i was at um <coughs> what's late and i was not on it that long um i'm not really that's why you got to be careful with what's counselors and stuff you go to because some of them may let me try to do my eyes while i'm just sitting here but um some of them may just be like oh let's take the medicine approach and i guess as a child and you're you know dealing with what you're dealing with that would be probably one of the easier easier things to just recommend for them but i never really was big with like popping pills and having to be on pills for certain things but i was like hey you know this is my counselor um so i'll try it out so i wasn't even on it for longer than six months um we tried xanax first i was on that probably two weeks or not even that i think i did one dosage and i was like uh-uh this not for me and then i got on colonza pam or something like that and something else that started with a c so it was two c names and then I just didn't like that for me. Now, I'm not saying that I wouldn't recommend. Some people do need it. Like, that's just real. Like, some people do need um, antidepressants or anti or whatever, anxiety pills and stuff. And that is perfectly okay. You just have to talk to the, your um, doctor and figure out what's best for you. But me, I didn't need that. And I didn't like the way it made me feel. It just made me feel like I was suppressing my sadness. And I wasn't really being treated with my sadness. Like, I was sad of the things that i went through as a child and i was not being able to heal properly from it that's why i had to go back to counseling my senior year because i'm like that didn't help <laughs> like all it did was like suppress my um it kind of just like put soil over my problems it didn't really rip the root out and, and get to the issue so i was still traumatized um from it for years to come after that but yeah when i got off of the antidepressant um my skin just started reacting negatively like it was just as y'all saw in the beginning and i was real oh yeah that's a perfect example like jeremy he knew how i felt about i'm talking about when it came to will smith jeremy knew how I, like when we first got together like what the hell um <clears throat> So I'm going to use this palette. This is the Key Essential Making Beauty Personal. Oh no, that's all the palettes have that on there. I don't know which palette this is then. I guess the white one. But it just looks like this on the inside. But um, yeah, when me and Jeremy first got together, at some points it was like my acne was under control. And at other points it was completely not under control. And um, like he would always like try to be up on me. And I'm like, why did this man want to be all up on me when my skin looking so crazy? Like, not not to saying that he, why would he want to love me? I was more like, why he want to be like, he want to like push cheek to my cheek. He wanted me to like lay on him. And I had explained to him, like, I can't do things that you're probably used to in relationships because I have really fucking sensitive skin. And I would break out, like, if he put his beard on me, like, I would be literally crying out of one eye or the other eye. I'm, like on the other side of my face because i'd be trying like to not let him see me crying but i'm just like oh my gosh like how do i tell him like we cannot do this like my skin is really really sensitive like i'm gonna 
you're gonna get off me and I'm gonna have a bump waiting or like feeling like it's about to come. And I remember those feelings. So, but like I said, I didn't really talk openly about my insecurities with that. I, although I was very open with my journey to getting clear skin. Like I would tell you guys, I would bring bring you guys to my appointments, show you guys my products, show you guys different things, different things I tried, but I didn't want it to like, consume me so i know some people used to be like oh my gosh if she stopped eating so terribly or she changed her diet she just did and i'm like you don't get it like i can't live my life in a fucking bubble because of my freaking skin like it, it was really really hard um let me see what the pigment on this um eyeshadow is out of this world it's really good it's really good it's really good oh my gosh it's really good oh my gosh oh oh Ooh, this is so pretty. But, um, and I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it because I wanted to go with the look that I'm about to do for this photo shoot. So I'm trying to like build up on it. But let me build, like do my concealer real quick before it start drying out. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's kind of like him knowing what I've been through and, and still for a very long time, whenever people made videos on YouTube about me, I started over but when people made videos about me they will always find some type of way to bring up my skin now obviously he can't help that but that would have been like my moment like I could give him when I got pregnant with journey and Jaya um now I am about to use their pressing powder and see how this is I'm very particular when it comes to my powders very particular so I'm gonna let y'all know if this is what I like but um yeah like now i don't wear makeup as much because i really don't need it i feel like at one point which i shouldn't have been doing like cake and makeup on top of bad skin and stuff like that because it just makes it worse when you're trying to get it together but it's kind of like i still wanted to look a little decent i didn't want, like when i got pregnant with journey and jaya my skin was um out of control while i was pregnant but then when i got um and then it, it calmed down by the end of my pregnancy like it did come like when i gave birth i looked like I still think that was one of my most beautiful days being alive on this earth is when I gave birth to Journey and Jaya. But when I was pregnant with Jory, my hormones changed and they still have indefinitely changed. Like I still have, um, I'm still de dealing with some postpartum stuff with, from, with Jory, but I don't really have, unless I'm coming on my period or I'm ovulating, I don't really break out. It's definitely not with the cystic acne I used to. It's kind of like normal girl acne again. So when I do break out, I'm not like tripping like I used to because it's not like a big boil on my face. It's like, like even I think I had one yesterday somewhere. I could have swore I did. Where is it? It was like right here and it was like small and then it just went away. But, um, so yeah, let's see how this looks on my skin. So far. So good. Let's see. It's good. It's actually setting. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I do have some feedback already. So far, and I've been using my Lord Mercier, my Ur Urban Decay, and my Sasha Buttercup. My Sasha Buttercup for years. I just got Urban Decay last year and Lord Mercier last year. But one thing I can say is that it's not absorbing into my skin. Like I really genuinely am able now. I am using a different beauty blender, so I don't know if I was, I was using the other one, what would happen. But this one isn't, which I love, is not like setting into my skin like it looks like it's like highlighting and it's going to bake properly um so i do like that so we're going to see if i have any flashback or whatever that stuff is called yeah it's like really sitting on top of my skin so we're going to see if that's a bad thing or a good thing in a little bit you gotta be careful sometimes with that because then you'll have that flashback. But we'll see. When I took when I took my pictures, I did get my proofs back from that day when I got my makeup done by um with the kids central school face. And I didn't have flashback on any of my pictures, so like at all. And then I that like I posted on my Instagram a few days ago with that blue shirt and I was giving a shout out to um Dope Shots by Precious. I didn't have no flashback in that. Like I look perfectly great. But yeah, y'all that's just kind of how i feel about you know my past skin issues <clears throat> like when people are like highlighting your like insecurities or something like as her husband she probably has cried so many nights about this like oh my gosh like and now i gotta go cut my hair this is like a, such a traumatic thing and that's the same thing for jeremy like he doesn't want nobody coming to me trying to make me feel worse about something that's completely out of my control 
um but when i did get my skin under my control jeremy loves on me even more like oh my god baby i'm so happy like that your skin is clear now because you don't you're not insecure like like he can lay on me like he wants to rub on me like he wants to and sometimes i even just go do it because i'm like oh my skin is better now like and it's just like i'm so happy like i'm so happy um that's why even what like my minor imperfection i still do have i just I just be like it could be worse. That's why I always tell myself I go look if I gotta go look at my old pictures, I was like it could be worse. Like I just I'm so grateful to God that, you know, you know, he was able to help me out with this. Cause that was one of my biggest downfalls. I'm like, damn, like I need to be, you know, I can I can really give, you know, somebody a run for their money if my skin was like oh y'all y'all see that i just added a little bit of i should have added purple let me try to y'all i'm just trying stuff out right now i'm not no beauty girl <laughs> whenever i start doing fuck shit on my face i gotta say i'm not no beauty girl so nobody don't gotta tell me keisha what the hell was you doing but um yeah y'all that's just that's just my take on that that's just my take on that. So I could now now that I think about it, I could definitely relate. I could for sure relate to, you know, that public humiliation because that was, you know, if someone wanted to get under my skin in the past, it would be to just like like even when people was first talking about me and Jeremy's situation, like when people start bringing my skin into it, or even people bringing my size into it, like I'm like, what the hell y'all, like how you gonna knock me for me being petite? Like that's my genetics. And how you gonna knock me for having acne? Like that's not something I can control. And I like, like I said, in certain instances you can, but it was a long time before I even had acne and people were still bringing it up. Like, oh, we can, like, even when people, like, try to zoom in on old pictures or old videos of me in the past and try to send it to me, like, oh, you're not that girl. You can, like, if I post, like, people do this to this day. Like, if I post a really pretty picture on Instagram, people will go and send me a picture of, a zoomed in picture of when I had acne or like when my skin was bad, like they were sitting to me, like, don't get too confident. Like, and it's like so sad. Like, and I feel bad for them because psh, please, ain't nobody gonna knock me off my, my pedestal at this moment. Not just because of, you know, Jeremy or nothing. It's just because I genuinely am confident within myself. But I just be like, wow, like you must really be miserable in your life to try to, try to keep somebody or make them feel like why would you not embrace someone it's so much easier to just give a compliment and embrace someone and say like you look nice or your skin has come a long way or even like you don't gotta bring up my damn skin to be honest you could just just whatever you see in that moment like oh my gosh Keisha, you look great but you to me i'm like you must think i look great in this moment because every time i look great and i'm getting a lot of compliments here y'all go or whoever it is coming from fake private accounts talking about God is worthy or God is love or God is me. And then here you are sending a woman pictures of her past years and years and years ago about something out of her control, like trying to make her feel a way about herself. Um, so that that is really, really crazy to me or it still is crazy to me, but it makes it made me feel like, well, you must think I look good right now for you to try to send this and try to hurt my feelings. It ain't hurt my feelings. It's just annoying. <laughs> um, or like the whole filter conversation on Instagram. Like, give it up. Like, people are like, oh, Keisha, Keisha uses filters. So does every fucking body else. Like, everybody. And the people always saying I use filters, you go to their page and just filter. Like, I'm like, Instagram to me is a place of, like, there's a, a certain image on Instagram as a brand, as an influencer, and just being a girl who likes, you know, the cute filters. Like, there's nothing wrong with a filter or two. Um, y'all see me enough on my actual YouTube without makeup, being normal, living my life. This is like more of my normal. Oh, they do have an eyeliner. Oh, y'all. I said that I was going to tell y'all if this is better than my Stila. Because my Stila, that has been my favorite for a long time. I kind of want to, I don't know if I want to build my eye up anymore. Because, I, like I said, for this look I'm doing, I kind of want it to be neutral. Let me add a little bit of brown then to my 
<laughs> Y'all done ran out of um ran out of space. I didn't even do my contour yet. I gotta let y'all know how the contour palette is. Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't know if y'all want me to keep talking or just come back and let y'all know my final verdict. I think I'm just gonna come back and let y'all know my final verdict. I don't wanna have y'all. Who's that? <laughs> 